Hello everyone, my name is Brian and welcome to Magic 8-Ball version 94. First off, what is Magic 8-Ball? Well, it's this Python application you see on the screen. It is designed from the ground up to predict the stock market. Yes, I'm going to repeat that. It's designed from the ground up to predict the stock market. Go ahead, take a deep breath, roll your eyes. I do the same thing when somebody says they can predict anything. Really, I've done a few videos in the past that detail this, but I'm going to completely redo everything in this video from scratch because, goes to my second point, version 94. I have completely deleted and rewritten this application from scratch 94 times. And I've done that to answer the sole question that everybody's going to ask. How accurate is it? Okay, that quite literally is the million dollar question. How accurate is Magic 8 Ball version 94? I'm glad you asked because I actually have notes this time. I've done this video before on version 92. Um, I didn't want to add the trade system in and I don't want to waste your time. So we're going to jump right into the numbers here. This is generating iron condors verticals. These would be put credit spreads and call credit spreads, butterflies and broken butterflies. If you don't know what any of that is, I'm going to cover it later in the video. Most people would put this section at the end of the video to try to force you to watch the entire thing. I'm not going to do that. So it's been tracking all of the trades that this thing has generated. And version 94 got put into air quotes production on November 4th, 2022. Uh, this is still very much in alpha. And special note, I don't really care if it profited. I'm looking for expiration and kind of ignore like the risk reward probability these are things i'm still calculating the key here is did it expire in full profit that's what i'm looking for here and here are the stats broken down and ranked by expiration we've got butterflies broken butterflies iron condors and verticals iron condors these things are huge and again if you don't know what these are i'm going to cover them in depth later in the video but these are massive ranges that we start at the beginning of the day you can enter any time of the day, but I typically enter them in the beginning. 94% of them have expired full profit. That's insane. But remember, iron condors are massive ranges, so the risk to reward ratio is pretty horrible. Uh, broken butterflies are directional bias, and they have a 76% accuracy. Um, I don't get a warm, fuzzy feeling off this. I really don't. I've struggled with the broken butterfly code. I'm going to just admit it. I am working more on the prediction code and all of these trades kind of came in as an afterthought because everybody is like, well, I don't know how to trade this because I'm getting a lot of newer options traders. Verticals, again, these would be your calls and your puts. I should say your call credit spreads and your put credit spreads, 68% uh, accurate and butterflies, 65%. I don't really trust the butterfly. The reason for that is I have been tweaking the size of these things. Butterflies are a range of biased and your profit depends on where it is in the range. And we'll cover that in depth if it's confusing. But just know that butterflies, I've been tweaking the size of those, so I don't really trust that percentage. It's probably lower. All right, so there it is. Iron contours, 94%. Broken butterflies, 76%. Verticals, 68%. And butterflies, 65 What does this percentage mean? It means every single trade that this thing has kicked out, I have been tracking and it is in this number. So it doesn't matter if this iron condor was at 9.30 in the morning or three o'clock in the afternoon, it's in that number. So that's pretty, pretty actually astounding to me. This is way more accurate than previous versions. So let's dive in and look at how do you use it? That's gonna be the next thing I think we really should cover. So the next question is, where do you find Magic 8-Ball? I mean, where do you download it? Do you install it? How do, how's this work? Well, you don't download or install it. It's all online. So you go to something called Discord, and I'll put a link down below. And I have a test server called Void Realms. Huge disclaimer, I'm going to move this into a separate Discord server that has a paid subscription model. Details towards the end of this video. But right now, it's in my development server called Void Realms. Once you join, you'll see this options traders channel. This is where just all the options traders are. Wow, there's 186 people online right now. Where, where's everybody even finding this? Anyways, you go all the way down to the bottom and there's Magic 8-Ball. Click on this and this is what the software is generating. Kind of scroll up here. 
So you can see it is just generating all of these predictions. So every five minutes it's kicking out a prediction. And this is what the prediction looks like. See, Magic 8 Ball prediction. It's focused right now on SPX 0DTE, but it is actually designed to do way more. I can do SPY, Apple, Tesla, Microsoft, I mean pretty much the whole S&P 500, and it can go out way further than 0DTE. I've designed it so it can actually go out like 90 or even 120 days. Obviously, the closer to the 0DTE, the more accurate it's going to be, which is why I'm focused on SPX 0DTE. Then it has the current price, a short-term target, a predicted close, and a long-term target. These are a little confusing. So previous versions had, well, one number. And everyone said, I want a range. So I took that number and broke it out into three different targets. So you have short-term, long-term, and close. Short-term, you can expect this soon. How soon? Usually within five minutes to an hour. Protected close, obviously, this is our end of day. And long-term target assumes there was no market in. The market just ran till midnight. So what do these numbers really mean? Well, look at this right here where it says targets. These are actually volume nodes, and it kind of correlates with this chart. So you can see we've got a 4,000, a score, and then a rate of change next to it. So you can see there's multiple targets. The stock market is always shifting. And if I just pop this chart here, it gives you a better idea of what's going on. Here's the volume nodes. 4,000 is node one, which is red. And then we have node two over here at 3,900. And then I put three, four, five. There's way more, there's probably a dozen, but this is where the stock market wants to go. Right now, all signs are pointing towards node one at 4,000. And if we just flip into thinkorswim here, pull open a chart, we're at about 39.50 and change. I'm horrible with thinkorswim, so bear with me here. So we think the market's going to go up. How did we come to that conclusion? Well, let's go back here. Looking at this chart, we've got short-term, predicted, long-term, and I've got it graphed out here. Our predicted close is actually 39.79.95 or 39.80, that red line. Let's just go ahead and map this out. I'm gonna to go to the newest one, actually. Yeah, you can see how the change is happening in real time here. So let's just put all these on the chart here. So I'm gonna copy, this is a short term. This is what I do every day, and this is why I made those charts. Let's call this short term. And let's put this here. Make that nice and bold so everybody can see it. So there's our short term target, meaning we're expecting 39.60 soon. So we're expecting that price to pull up. And you can see on the screen, we got the TTM squeeze is saying it's down and RSI is also saying it's down. So yes, we're expecting that to pull up. Let's go back over to Discord here. Just gonna duplicate this. This is our predicted close. I'll make that just a different color. And you can see the predicted close is even higher at 39.80. Now let's go in here. And our long-term target is 4,000. Remember, this is assuming there's no end to the market. It's just going to run till midnight. But you see it also says possible before the end of the day meaning this could jump up to 4k and then back down i've seen that happen all right so let's zoom this out this is about what this looks like we've got the short term predicted close and long term you notice predicted close is pretty much smack in the middle and that's usually the case sometimes it's offset by a dollar or two so we're going to expect this 3960 soon. So if you're just looking to make a quick buck, you could put a put credit spread. If we go back in here, and I'll probably have to scroll up. Yeah, here's the trades. I actually did enter this. And you see how it's doing this right here. A put spread at 1.6. This is why I'm targeting expiration because when you paper trade, the fills with paper trades are absolute crap. You see I put it in and it filled it at 2. 
So to offset that, I will go here, I'll go analyze trade, and then I will just 1.6 to see the actual profit, which we would be at about negative $24 right now. And as the day goes on, I may check back later to see if it's moved. It will go up. Now, if it goes to 4K, we're going to be doing really good. We'll have $160 at the end of the day. This goes back to the accuracy at expiration that I showed you at the very beginning, that spreadsheet. This is what it's really tracking. So what you can actually do is I've designed this so you could actually go in here and just copy these. So if I wanted to, I could copy this. Let's get rid of this guy. And let's go to our orders. And you can just paste it in. Hit this little lock to get the latest price. Well, it did actually move up to two bucks. And then you could just simply confirm and send. And that's true for all of these. So like if, for example, we wanted to do this iron condor, Doing this in real time is always risky. This is still in alpha development. I'm waiting for something to just explode on me here. But yeah, you can see this condor is $55. And we can analyze this. You can see this condor is just completely huge. There we go. I'll just kind of expand this out so you can see just the size of these condors. This is why these condors have a 94% chance of success because they are so large, but the risk to reward ratio is horrible. But if I wanted to, I could enter that as well. All right, so that's the basic parts of it. Now we need to understand how it really works. All right, so we have our short term, our predicted close, and our long term. Remember, short term, we're expecting this soon. Predicted close is end of day. Long term is if the market had no, no end. It just went till midnight. But we could see this go all the way up to 4,000, but then it will start trailing back down. Always verify this with whatever you use. Honestly, I tend to switch indicators a lot just to verify the accuracy of the code. But for example, TTM Squeeze is saying, yep, this is down. We're expecting it to pull up. RSI, it's down, should go up. Everything's pointing this. this should go up. However, the market does not always be kind to us, and there's always a catch. Notice this is at 39.80 and change. Let's go into our real time. This is already updated. Scroll up a bit here. So current 39.42, and we see our long, our long term has stayed the same. That's pretty predictable. Usually what we see is the long term stays the same and the short term and the close move towards it. If this long term changes, that means these targets, these volume notes have changed. And this is where you have to really pay attention here. Target one is 4,000. You notice that's our long term target. That's the main volume node. And it has a score associated with it, 47. It has a rate of change. It's changing very slowly. But you notice this 3920. It has a score of 36. And it's changing more rapidly, actually very rapidly, almost half a percent each update. Let's scroll up here and see how much this is updated. Notice node 2 used to be 39.50 and had large change with a score of 29. So just in five minutes recording this video, 39.50 absorbed a smaller node, 39.20, and became a larger node itself. And we can see that represented in the charts. So if I pull this chart here, there's our second node. Here's our first primary node, which isn't going to change. You see how there's 3950, and then we get the updated chart, and it is now dropped down here to 3920, and it's much larger. What that tells me is that 4000 is actually at risk, and this could drop down into the 3920 range. So this really functions in multiple ways. First, you get real-time predictions. Second, you get kind of like a forecast of what's happening in the market. And you get a trading system that you can literally just copy and paste. I mean, I absolutely love the fact that I can just say, hey, if I want to just get this condor, I can go in here and just pop it in, paste it, unlock it to get the accurate price, and then confirm and send if I really want to. It's actually just that simple. So the trick here, and you can see our little vertical is now starting to start climbing into profit. The trick here is the market does change. And admittedly, this is something that I'm working on is I want some sort of warning system saying, hey, 
you know, node two is going to overtake node one in a certain amount of time. But yes, it's literally that simple. You have to know short term prediction, the predicted close, long term, and the nodes, and then just simply watch the nodes. Over time, assuming the market never changes, you'll see short term and predicted close start moving up towards the long term. But if this long term changes, let's say it's dropping down to 39.20, you'll see predicted close and short term kind of snap down to it. Now that you understand the difference between the long term, predicted close, short term, and how the volume nodes work, how do you know which trade to enter? Well, that's a good question. Um, it's honestly, this section is really built towards newbie options investors because. I got super confused when I started doing this, so I just wanted to walk through this. Some of you pros are probably just going to skip right over this section, and that's fine. If you go into Magic 8-Ball, you'll see what I'm generating here are iron condors, verticals, which are, of course, put credit spreads or call credit spreads, butterflies and broken butterflies. Well, how do you know which one to use? Well, they all work, but it depends on your risk versus reward. So let's walk through each one of these. So I'm going to use what's called option strat just because it's visually stunning. And let's look at an iron condor. So you just go to optionstrat.com. We're going to go build. And it may take me a minute to find some of these, but we're going to go iron condor. Let's look at SPX. So this is an iron condor in all of its beauty. And this is a bit misleading. This is not how the iron condors look in this system. It looks more something like this. Meaning you have this horrible risk to reward ratio and these things are large, I mean very large. So you're making like 50 bucks, but you could lose a few thousand. I mean, you can see how it's like going down in the negative 10 grand. Um, yeah, iron condors are something that you have a horrible risk to reward, but you have so much range. The market's not going to really move out of this. That's why they have such a high degree of accuracy. So if we just go into Magic 8-Ball here, and let's just grab this iron condor. You can see just the strikes here alone. This thing is huge. Let's go into here. I'm going to go to analyze. Uncheck all that so you don't see what my current trade is doing. Uncheck that box. Analyze. You can see this condor is just massive. Now, here's where the current price is. This blue line represents at the end of day, at expiration, how much money you're gonna make. And you see the numbers over here changing as I move. So at the end of the day, if the price was here, you'd lose about a grand. But the price is here, so at the end of the day, you'd win 50 bucks. I don't know about you, but $50 risking a grand is a horrible risk to reward, but these things are so huge. I mean, even if the market rapidly swings, you're fine. It's just gonna work. Honestly, look at this. I don't know what this color is, magenta line here. That is your real time. So if it moved over here, you'd lose 150 bucks. So the general rule of thumb that I was taught is you watch this pink magenta line, and if you get two or three times your premium, meaning you're gonna get paid $50 to get into this trade, but if it goes down into like the negative 150, eject. Just close it, take the loss, and start a different trade. Iron condors are typically first thing in the morning, meaning you'll enter these first thing in the morning and let it ride all day. Because first thing in the morning, these strikes are going to be further apart. And as the day goes on, that condor is going to shrink and shrink and shrink and shrink. So you've got a very narrow band. Yeah, you don't want that. You want a nice large condor. All right, let's get rid of that. Then let's flip in here. Verticals. These things are, well, pretty simple. Let's go into option strat and we're going to do just a put spread. Let's do SPX. These things are pretty simple. They're on or off, meaning did it win, did it lose? So you're, you're taking a price here and saying, I think it's going to be above a certain strike. And if it is, I win. If it isn't, I lose. And you can design these for different risk reward ratios. You notice how now you can lose way more than you win. I mean, you can design these pretty much any way you want. But at its core here, a vertical is just a light switch. Is it winning or is it losing? So this automatically does the calculations for you. So you can just grab this guy. 
Copy it. Unlock current price, analyze. And there it is. Is it winning? Is it losing? And you can see right on our theta decay, it's going to start us pretty much at zero and then work its way up as it goes into profit. And you can, of course, lose. I am going to play around with this in the future and make different types of strikes and how it's structured and things like that because I, I don't think I found the key yet, but these are actually fairly accurate. I want something that's like 100%. I know I'll never get there, but that's what I want. So verticals you can do pretty much all day long, and they have a pretty equal risk to reward. Like you're risking, you know, I'm looking at this little box down here, you're risking $330 to make $170. So it's not bad. Now, if this goes against you, look at that magenta line here. You can see how much you'd be losing. So to get into this trade, we're going to make $170. And if the price shifts down too much, I want to hit that eject button. Some people don't. I'll just be honest. Some people just, you know, ride or die these things. It boils down to your individual risk strategies and risk tolerance. Now, butterflies, butterflies get confusing. They get really confusing. And admittedly, I've struggled with this code. Like you can see right here, this butterfly has a negative three premium. Let's see, this might be a bug in my code here. Let's flip this over here and see what it's doing. I don't know why I've had so much trouble with butterflies. Yeah, see, it actually wants a dollar for it. So a butterfly looks like this, where you have this, this range, and the closer you are to the dead center of the range, the more money you're going to make. But you can see how time gets a little weird. That theta curve looks kind of crazy. So typically what I'll do with butterflies is I will enter these either early morning or late afternoon. But I've had really hit or miss results with these. But you can see the risk to reward is amazing. I'm risking 100 bucks to make about 1000 But statistically, the odds are against you. And then a broken butterfly. This is, let's copy this. A directionally biased butterfly. Say that five times real fast. And let's analyze that trade. And this is what I mean by directionally biased. So you have our strikes down here. And as that price moves up, we're expecting it to go around 39.80. That would be our pin. But if we were wrong and the price stays under, we're still going to make money. Look at these numbers over here. We're still going to make money. If it closed here, I'd make 75 bucks. If it closed here, I'd make 500 bucks. But if it overshot, you notice suddenly we'd lose a lot of money. We'd lose like $425. Again, each trade is different. Your individual risk tolerance. I tend to favor iron condors and verticals. Every time I've tried a butterfly, it hasn't gone in my favor. And that's simply because I am not a professional options trader. And I think my butterflies are shaped too small. Remember, you can make these things absolutely huge. There is one I do want to test called the Jim Olson Iron Fly, which is an early day butterfly, which is mass. I mean, it's huge. It's like a 100 point butterfly, kind of like an iron condor, but a butterfly, just gigantic. So that's how the trades are structured. And again, the way this is built right now, you'll kind of have to watch this. You can see as we've talked in real time, the 3900 node has absorbed the other nodes and become one giant node. So what that tells me is our little trade. Is at risk here so if i flip into my monitor yep it's at negative 35 dollars and if i go to analyze let's kind of doing this in real time yes this will start slipping off into bye bye land the market's going to start dropping rather drastically all these numbers have shifted the indicators are also saying uh oh things are in trouble this brings me to my final point here is that magic eight ball actually acts as an early warning system you can see how 3900 is way larger than the 4000 node and we're going to see this start dropping rather rapidly. It's at the peak of our short term. It's going to move towards 39.20. So if this was a real trade, obviously I didn't want to do a real trade while I was recording. Yeah, it's going to start shooting down to 39.20. You can see it's already moving. So I will just simply hit the eject button and just take the $45 loss. That actually kind of worked out in my favor because I was hoping it would do that so I could show you that it was an early warning system as well. So yay, stock market for tanking. All right. The final critical component you need to understand on how to use this is, well, 
time. What time do you enter? Now, this comes with the disclaimer, do not try to time the market. You'll hear that repeated, and I'm going to repeat it to you again. Never try to time the market. However, certain trades work better at certain times of the day. For example, I will enter an iron condor first thing, meaning either 9.45 or 10 a.m., usually closer to 9.45, Eastern Standard Time. Remember, iron condors are that massive range. And verticals, I'll do those around 9.45, 10 in the morning, and 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And butterflies, I tend to try to do those end of day because butterflies can get crazy expensive. So the closer you are to end of the day, I think the cheaper they are. But somebody in the comments will probably correct me and say, no, they're probably cheaper in the morning. Again, I've struggled with butterflies. They've not been my friend. How did I come up with these times? Well, First, through just raw statistical analysis of the output of this program and talking to real professional options traders in the Axe Auction Group. I'll talk about Axe at the very end of this video. Really friendly group of traders, and I've learned quite a bit from them. But just watching them and mimicking what they're doing and putting that into the code is where I came up with these times. What are my future plans for Magic 8-Ball? Well, I don't know. I haven't put a lot of thought into it. I don't even know how much it's worth. I've had, like I said, a lot of marketing people come at me going, hey dude, this is worth billions. Let me market this for you. Obviously they're looking for a paycheck themselves. I don't blame them, but I, I don't wanna go down that road just yet. Um, so let's talk about what I do know. I do know I want to move this to a dedicated Discord server and charge a small, very humble fee. How much? I don't know. Um, let's scroll up here. I look at this Iron Condor and I see that it's got a $45 premium with a 94% chance of expiring in the money. Meaning this Condor has a 94% chance of making you $45. So if I charge say $25, you have a 94% chance of making a small profit and paying for this tool, meaning it pays for itself all in one trade. And your risk because this Condor is so big is actually fairly low. And historically, it's seen 94% success rate. So I'm logically trying to walk through this and maybe sales, marketing, and logic don't all mix, but that's what I'm looking at here is what is logical, what is fair. So I know this generates trades. It has a charting system with some early warning detection. You saw how I hit the eject button on that vertical earlier and some future forecasting. So like this 4K node grows, it could actually bounce back up. And it does this short-term, predicted, and long-term. So it's pretty versatile. And this is still in alpha. I mean, this isn't even really in full production yet. And it's already starting off with all this. Do me a favor. Either join the Void Realm server or put a comment down below and let me know what you think this is worth. One thing I want to add to the paid version of this is updated charts. I put a lot of work into this chart and it's great, but it's not perfect. So I've got a bunch of other charts. And let's just kind of scale this, bear with me here. So here are the analyzers, just shows you kind of internally what's going on inside of Magic 8-Ball. Here's the older prediction chart. This is the prediction history, and to me, this is fascinating. The red line is the price, the green line is the long term. And you can see this time frame is UTC. Around 1600, something magical happens and wham, it snaps to the top node and you just have this beautiful straight line. Again, this is from last Friday. It shows you right where the price is gonna go. If the node changes like we saw earlier, this line will change and it'll show you in real time where it's gonna go. We have the prediction chart you've been seeing, an expanded version. I'm not in love with this. It shows you the relative strength of each node. The basic max paying calls versus puts with the market center. A zoomed in prediction chart. Sales, this is volume minus open interest. Volume nodes sideways and volume. I want to do things like that. Just add a lot of extra value to this program. How do you find updates on Magic 8-Ball? Well, that's a good question. Uh, you can always join my Void Realms Discord server. Again, this is a free server, and I am going to move Magic 8-Ball to a paid subscription server. But I'll still keep talking about and probably developing it in here. 
So you'll see a lot of the experimental features in here. Link down below. You can also look at my Void Realms YouTube channel. I'm assuming you're there right now watching this very video. And of course, you can look at what's called Axe Options. You've probably seen the icon over here, Axe Options. They have a paid Discord server as well. Now, I needed to find the two. Void Realms is mine, Axe is theirs. I am a member of Axe, and these are professional traders. Um, I am not being paid to tell you this. I am actually a member of their subscription. That being said, this is my review. Axe Options is absolutely amazing. Um, Ariane's videos are pretty clear and concise. Now, sometimes I have to watch them multiple times because she is a professional options trader and I am anything but. I am not a professional options trader at all. I'm simply a developer trying to learn options. Um, their group has way, way more than Magic 8-Ball. It's a huge group of people and they talk about all different trading strategies. They have questions and answers. They have a whole education channel. They've even built a couple channels just for Magic 8-Ball so that myself and other people can sit there and talk about this and the code and different strategies and things of that nature. So huge shout out to the folks at Axe Options. To join Axe, you simply go to Axe Options in YouTube, go to About, and then click the Join Axe link. Again, that is a paid system. I am not being paid for this review. I am a member of Axe Options, but I would highly recommend it because I myself am not a professional options trader and I will not be able to answer a lot of your questions. I am solely focused on updating Magic 8-Ball. And speaking of updates, looks like it updated again. Oh, I knew that 4K node was going to go. Look at that. I should have kept my vertical. Anyways, um, see if... I bet you if I flip into Axe, somebody's going to be going, bro, you should have kept that vertical because we knew the 4K node was going to jump up. All right. That is one massive node. More updates coming soon. I'll make videos as I can. But of course, developing this and having a full-time job and working my butt off on other things, you know, updates are kind of slow. But do me a favor, pop into the Void Realms Discord server. It's free of charge. And just say hi and let me know what you think of this and if you have any thoughts on how much I should charge for this. Again, I want this to be fair and equitable for everyone. Hope to see you there.